So we're back at the ThinkScon Amsterdam uh, conference 2016 and uh, uh, we have a new guest uh, with a toy. So who are you and, uh, and what did you bring? I'm Estina Zubritska. I'm from Vitae Company. We do tech for families. And I brought this little guy. Um, it's called Vitae Doll. And it's uh, basically connected to the, to the other doll. So we call them Vitae Dolls. And uh, what it does, it's, it's alive. You can feel the heartbeat when you hold it in the hand. Uh, and it can talk to you sometimes. It can get angry, like that, for instance. It's not going to get angry with me. <laughs> but it can, for instance, get really excited or something like that. It can also wake you up in the morning uh, by calling you to play with it. Uh, it can send a key, so you tell them out and then go receive it and then another person can take it and hear the keys. And so far, so we, we do it for families in order so they don't have to be stick to the screens because nowadays the communication is based very much on the screen devices. And especially for children uh, from age from 4 to 9, uh, just so they so keep them at uh, their natural development. And uh, this, this toy is also um, developed their, their own imagination. So how did you come up with the idea? It was quite a long process and we didn't come up with it just like that. We were doing it together with children. So we started from a very simple game hide and seek and you could hide one doll uh, and another bit few where the, the, the other is hidden. But we didn't want to do it only for one game so we just started to develop it that it can be a, a comp um, companion for a child every day. And um, then every time we would prototype something, we would try it out also with children. Uh, so every two weeks we had these play sessions with kids, which was the, the biggest fun of the whole job. And then we tried to figure out which one works the best, which one works. And uh, after almost two years of working on this product, we had it uh, ready and we are shipping it as we speak in this week uh, for the Christmas. Okay, so we got a uh, we got news. You can buy it now, you can buy it online via website. But actually not because they are pre-sold. The first product is pre-sold. So uh, first lucky customers will get them for Christmas, but we start the mass production the next year. So how uh, do you have a background in, uh, in design or in uh, technology? How did you, what part of the digital guy is yours? So I'm industrial designer, and uh, this is exactly uh, this, is, this is my design, but also we do it with children, right? Uh, but also I was educating myself with uh, new technology in the fields uh, in my sculpture because I was always fascinated what we can do with new technology, but especially when you do it together with children because when they get anything in their hands, they do quite amazing things that we would never come up with. So I thought this is exactly what I want to do, and uh, my, my chosen uh, job is actually a toy designer, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> so, but as a toy designer, uh, you're, you're not naturally uh, exposed to new technology and things like that, so you, you had a curiosity of, of your own, uh, but then it's still it's a big step to start experimenting and teaching yourselves all these uh, new technologies. Was, was it hard? And how did you get all the information? Well, uh, what I did, I went to uh, Erasmus project uh, to uh, Linz in Austria. They had this, uh, in the university, they had this uh, department called Interface Culture, which is designed exactly for people like me who have no technical background, but uh, we learned a little bit of basics of sense, how sensors work, where, what are the interconnectivity, uh, and so on and so on. And I did a few artistic projects in the back. Uh, in my past also, and I figure out that, like, like I said before, it's the biggest fun when you actually give it to children, so I did a few uh, projects together with children and nuclear technology, and then I, I figured out that this is something that they want to Now, creating a, a single version of your uh, your toy is, is a, be very difficult, but uh, um, creating a, a mass production uh, version and, 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 Mass production. It is a completely different uh, kind of ball game. How did you do that? Well, that was the biggest challenge, and it's very difficult. But we managed to uh, launch them in the whole supply chain management. What I did first of all, we wanted to keep it in Europe, the whole production in Europe. So what I did, I simply uh, sent requests of quotes for both uh, 
wooden components and electronics. And then uh, when I would get a uh, reply from these manufacturers, I would go there directly, visit them and see what kind of cleaning they have and uh, make a prototyping sessions with them and, and then I would select the best one. So we already have a factory in, in the south of Poland uh, that they produce uh, these quite high quality uh, parts, uh, also sourced uh, from the wood uh, respons respons in a responsible way. And then the same with electronic, it was very similar, so uh, we picked up one of the factory that gave us a very good quote, but they are also very responsive and we can also go there directly and visit them and talk to them. Um, and this is our huge advantage. Now you're officially at an Internet of Things conference, uh, uh, did, did you realise that? Sorry? Um, you're, you're officially at an Internet of Things conference, did you realise that you were building something for the Internet of Things? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, we never really considered ourselves as a company, the company of Internet of Toys before. We were more like a toy company, a technology for a family and so on. But it just happened that uh, we used this uh, technology of Internet of Things. Uh, and, and now it naturally comes uh, into, into this world that we started to be in this field. Yeah. Now, Internet of Things is, is a lot of things. Uh, it's a very broad definition uh, that you can speak to it. Um, uh, and, and a lot of things are happening. And you also see that there's a lot of software involved. Uh, are, are you, do you have software developers? Are you working with software developers to improve or create new functionalities? Yes, that's exactly the, the aim of this, uh, uh, the updates that we have. So you can update over the year the toy that allows a toy to grow with a child. Right. So if a child uh, gets a toy, um, for present, uh, then you have some basic functionalities, like it has a voice, it has a heart, it has a and so on. And after a month, uh, we're going to send another functionality. And uh, so, so over time, the excitement just grows, and uh, the toy actually gets better with the time. That's our aim, and it's a huge advantage. Can I also alter it myself? Can I just add new functionalities myself to the toy? If you know how to hack it, yes. <laughs> I don't want to hack it, but it's a, it could be a uh, service that you can create extra features yourselves as a, as a owner. Well, uh, there is a company app uh, for this tour, so you can connect with your phone. And then you can, first of all, you can choose the features that you want. You cannot really create on the app your own, um, but what we do, especially with this first product that we release, we are very close to the first to our first customers, and we're gonna ask them which features work best, what they actually want, and we're gonna try out just like we were doing it up until now, but now it's for longer term, so it's, it's gonna be a customer evaluation stage at the moment. But no, some sort of an app store where people can just uh, add new features to it and create a completely uh, playground for uh, for others to develop things on. That's something that we do have in mind, but in the future, so I don't want to talk about it yet so in details. I take it for a yes. And uh, um, so now this is this is one product, are you working on other products as well? We work only on this product at the moment, uh, on the future as well, but we don't release it yet, what it's going to be. But the most important thing is that now, the next, uh, the next year, we're going to work for three months on the revision to the mass production. And uh, we have to grow our team also because there is a lot of uh, work in front of us. And uh, we also get into the seed round with our company. So, this is a for 2017. A lot of people here talk also about things like uh, artificial intelligence and, and conversational interfaces. And this is that uh, uh, part of your vision of 2017 and, uh, and onwards. Uh, that's also part of the plan, and we already did some experiment with Alexa, for instance. So we are connected to a toy, you can actually watch the video in, in our Facebook. Uh, we connected a toy to Alexa, so you can talk to, you know what Alexa is, uh, it's like this uh, voice interface. Uh, and if you say um, to a doll, um, if you say Alexa, send the keys to my daughter, for instance, then the toy starts to blink, and then doctor can pick up the toy and then the keys. So, and then um, we have a plan to, to connect it actually to the technology. Okay. You mentioned as a joke uh, to me that uh, I 
could have uh, things uh, to it if I could could hack it. Uh, uh, obviously, in, 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 at this conference, other people are talking about security and things like that. How, how did you deal with that? Uh, this is a good question for our developers, and uh, we, we have this in mind from the very beginning uh, because this is the first question that we are uh, that, the, that we get from the clients, for instance. So security is very important uh, issue, uh, and all the data are going to be encrypted, uh, and also we never use this data um, as an outset for so for the development. And also what's most important is that um, this data is mostly for, for the families, kept for the families uh, between them, between each other. So when you have one tool connected to another, um, then it just simply doesn't go anywhere else on the outside. Because you don't want it uh, to make uh, funny noises uh, that are created by somebody else uh, all of a sudden. That could not be nice. <laughs> Right, so you, you, you had a, a conference, a lot of other demos and workshops, etc. Are, are there certain new devices or new ideas or new sensors that you spotted here that you think that might be interesting for your company? Um, well, I, I look around, I didn't see anything new because I don't these, these projects are already fun and I do this in time. Um, but it's, it, I always feel good in this environment where, people, where I meet people like-minded, but also designers who Okay, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the new and uh, improved version in 2017, and maybe with a platform uh, connected to it. And, uh, and we can buy it uh, 